This is Alex Yi. Hailing from Leeds, United Kingdom, Yi has been widely considered as the hottest young prospect in triathlon. In 2018, the youngster burst onto the elite triathlon circuit with astonishing success. Yi has battled against the top professionals in triathlon against the likes of 2019 world champion Vincent Luis and the 2018 Commonwealth Games champion Henry Schoeman. At 22 years of age, the young man has proven on multiple occasions that he is the up-and-coming triathlete to watch in 2020. What sets Yi apart from the rest of his peers is his dominant strength in the run. In addition to triathlon, Yi has represented Great Britain at senior level in athletics. As a teenager, Yi participated in national competitions from the 1500 meters to the cross country and he would finish on the podium on most occasions. Once Yi established himself as a top runner in the nation, he went on to represent Great Britain at the Commonwealth, European and World Youth and Junior Championships where he ran against the best youngsters from around the world and he would always finish within the top 10. At the 2016 IAAF World Junior Championships, he represented Great Britain in the 5,000 meters and finished in 9th position. I know finishing in 9th doesn't sound all that impressive, but take a guess at the Britain's finishing time. Are you ready? He ran an astonishing time of 13 minutes 52 seconds for a new personal best. For those of you who aren't familiar with running times, that is a serious time for an 18 year old. For reference, we'll compare Yi's performance to that of the legendary Sir Mo Farah. Let's take a look at both of their 5k progressions on the track. From the ages of 18 to 21 years of age, Yi has been running a faster 5k time than Farah was at the same age. I'll repeat it again. Alex E has been running faster than Sir Mo Farah, widely considered as one of the greatest distance runners of all time. Now that's extraordinary. Earlier in August of 2020, he ran in a podium 5k race. The road race featured a ridiculously fast lineup that included the British and European 5k indoor record holder Mark Scott and the two time Olympic medalist. Jonathan Brownlee. Despite being one of the youngest in the field, Yi finished in a remarkable second behind Mark Scott. The youngster's finishing time of 13 minutes and 26 seconds had beaten his personal best for the distance on the track and was also under the previous British record time of 13 minutes 27 seconds. I can hear you asking, what about the 10,000 meters? Well, I'm glad you asked. On 19th May 2018, Yi ran in the 10K at the British Championships. Yi had only just turned 20 and the race was his first ever 10K on the track. But on Saturday night in North London, he finished 5th overall and was the first amongst the Britons to be crowned the British 10K champion. Yi's finishing time of 27 minutes 51 seconds was less than 5 seconds outside the British under 23 record of 27 minutes 47 seconds set in 1971. At only 22 years of age, Yi has established himself as a top runner in the nation, ran alongside the best in the world and has been compared to the legendary Mo Farah. The fact that the young man has managed to achieve all of this while balancing the three triathlon disciplines is simply mind-blowing. Yi's firm strength in the run reminds me of a successful veteran on the triathlon circuit. He is none other than Mario Mola from Spain. In a similar fashion, Mola had shown a lot of potential in athletics as a teenager as he was crowned the junior champion of Spain in the 5,000 meters and the cross country. In 2015, 
the Spaniard made history by clocking the fastest 5k and 10k run split in ITU history. Muller's capacity as a runner has without a doubt played a key role in his dominance from 2016 to 2018, where he became a three-time World Triathlon Series champion. For these reasons, I believe that Yi's sub-14 in the 5k and sub-28 in the 10k will elevate the youngster to greatness. It is only a matter of time before we see Alex Yi dominating the triathlon circuit. If you enjoyed our video, make sure to click the subscribe button to get future updates. Thank you so much for watching, we'll see you next time.